For more than four decades, the public has turned to 911 for help during emergencies, and we've always been there. Basic 911 technology is essentially the same today as it was 40 years ago, but along the way, we've made some enhancements to the system to accommodate new technologies like cell phones, location tracking, and now texting to 911. But that's getting harder to do. Technology is constantly evolving, now faster than ever before. And as the world adapts to keep up, it's our duty to keep up as well. Why? Because people expect 911 to work no matter what. They assume that they can reach 911 via text, picture, or video messaging, and they expect to get help quickly from any device at any time. It's time to make that concept a reality. Next Generation 911 transitions us from yesterday's technology to a faster, more flexible, resilient, and scalable system, enabling 911 to keep up in the future. So, what is NG911? In short, it's an IP based system that allows information to flow seamlessly across the 911 system, from the public to first responders and beyond. It's much more than just new computers. NG911 is an evolving system of hardware, software, standards, policies, and training that will eventually lead to safer, faster, and more informed responses. It provides improved interoperability with first responders, sharing life saving information instantly. It's the most efficient backup plan to make sure all calls are answered when there's a call overload, power outage, or a natural disaster. It's better services to the public and more ways to access help through 911, such as text, video, automatic crash notification, and more. And emergency responders say it will provide the most accurate information about the situation, allowing them to not only save lives, but to do their jobs more effectively. Saving lives, gaining efficiencies, adapting to the future. That's what NG911 does. NG911 is fundamentally about sharing information with others. That can only happen with a plan. Formal transition plans address governance and standards development, update existing laws, standardize systems and training, and identify funding options. Many states have already developed plans and are adopting components of NG911. Working together, each state, region, county, and city has the power to determine how to make its transition to NG911. So, what's your role? First responders, legislators, and 911 system employees will each play a role in making NG911 happen. Through collaboration and education, we can ensure this new system will best serve our communities. Learn more about how you can help by getting involved in the conversation about next generation 911 today.